All right, everyone. So in this video here, uh, this is, I'll be honest with you, this is one of these things I completely forgot I ordered. Uh, I actually wasn't going to get one of these, but I was like, eh, let me, let me guess, see what happens. And then after I ordered it, I told myself, it's like, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can cancel it. Other things came up, completely forgot. And I got an email saying that I got a package delivered. It was this. So, so yeah. What this is, this is the PlayStation 5 console covers. This is actually first party. This is coming straight from Sony themselves. So, all of the other uh, companies that try to make fate, uh, essentially plates for the PlayStation 5, Sony was... Uh, basically sending uh, DMCA or no not DMCA uh, basically takedown notices and legal threats to basically to stop selling them and this is part of the reason why plus Sony has a patent on the actual design and the way it's supposed to attach to it apparently so I got these in today these were like 50 60 bucks um, so not terribly expensive for what you get and they're OEM so you know it's first party stuff so let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get inside but I'll show you how the box looks so here's the front Here's the back, and of course when we open the top, we are with another box. So Sony tends to use multiple boxes for their products. So, um, alright, here's the front. Let's go ahead and open this up. And here are the plates. Got some paperwork. And of course, uh, the version I have is for the disc for the disc version, since that's the version I have of the PlayStation 5. So let's go ahead and take this out. Ooh, look at that. It's a matte finish. There's the PlayStation logo. Here's the underneath it. And let's uh, take a look at the bottom portion. There's the bottom portion. Uh, the, the let's see the date code on this. Uh, looks like the end of 2021. Cool. So yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and put this on. So let's uh, put these to the side and. Luckily, I disconnected my PlayStation 5. Uh, one thing I will say uh, before we continue, the feel of the surface between the two, this black one, this is the Midnight Black, it has a slightly rougher feel than the white one. So... Well, interesting. Um, I don't know if this is going to be more prone to scratching or not, but you know what? We'll see. So, if you've never taken a faceplate off of these things before, uh, you basically take, there's two prongs where the PlayStation logo is. So, basically, there's two prongs where the PlayStation logo is, 
And I don't know how people have trouble with this. So I'm going to prove to you I never screwed this thing up. You take it. You lift up the corner. Just a little bit of a tap. And then it comes off. And I've taken this plate off several times. And as you can see, no scratches. This is like brand new. So just to just to give you the just a proof of point uh this is not exactly rocket science to do i don't know how people manage to severely screw this up but then you take the replacement one you line up where all the holes are at and you just give a little love tap on the back of it or like on the bottom of the console you get the snap and it's on there so you know what <laughs> This is like a little Panda style PS5 now. That's actually kind of cool. But anyway, we're going to do the same thing on the bottom part of it. And it's going to be on this corner here. So basically the top corner on the opposite side of the disk drive. Same thing. You lift up the corner, give a little bit of a tap, and it just comes off. Lift it up. As you can see, no damages and no damage here so again you can take these things off without destroying it i don't know how people manage to screw this up take the other plate line it up you can give it a little bit of a whack on the bottom until it snaps and it's on and that actually looks kind of cool. That actually looks... I have to admit this... I do prefer this color. So yeah. Um, kind of cool. Uh, I will admit, I'm, I've never been a fan of shiny black plastic. Which is part of the reason why I barely try to touch the console itself in terms of cleaning because I don't really want to scratch this up some. So, um, yeah. And if you're wondering how I would actually keep this uh, thing all free of dust, I use this kind of duster. This is an OXO duster. Very fluffy, very soft. Never had a problem with it. But anyway, uh, that's the... Uh, replacement plates and of course you would have to in my case because I do lay this on its side actually regardless of what you do with it um, you uh, put the plate or the stand back on so yeah it still has the, uh, the little logos here I will say the feel of the plastic feels different from the white ones. I have a feeling this plastic they're using is a slightly cheaper material than this one. Because this one, you know, feels, you know, pretty strong and everything. This black one, honestly, while probably from a, you know, from a distance looks fine. But, like, when you feel it, when you're, like, moving the, you know, feeling the plastic, trying to bend it, it feels cheaper for some reason. It's, it's so weird. But, let's go ahead and slide this thing back on. Got it on there. And it's pretty much ready to go. So yeah. Um, I'm going to uh, pause this video. I'm going to connect it back up. And we're going to see how it looks like uh, next to my Series X. Alright, so I have the PlayStation 5 hooked up. And that's how it looks like on my, on my TV rack here. So obviously on top of it is my Xbox Series X. 
and I do have the PS5 on right now and I do assure you that the what the light on it is white though on the camera it looks more blue but it is white so if I turn off the controller or turn off the console so let me go ahead and put the console into rest mode you can kind of see how it looks there whenever it wants to go into the orange light there it goes and of course if I want to turn it back on Come on. Or, no way, it's still trying to shut down. The light's still blinking. Okay, I guess I'll just end it here. Oh, wait, no, no, no. It's, it's solid now. Okay, so PS5, sh uh, there it goes. And there's the blue. And now it's white so yeah that's that's how the different colors look on it now obviously being that this is a first party accessory there's no uh, like D brand um, type stickers to put on top of the lights or anything it's just the plates so just keep that in mind is it really worth it um if you want to customize it sure uh, I do like the idea, though, of maybe either doing like a black and white theme, or if you want to get the other colors, you can mix and match it. That, I actually didn't think about it until I got it and, you know, replaced one of the, the plates on it. And it's like, wait a minute, you can actually have like a, you know, two different colors going on, apart from the uh, black strip in the in the center. So, in that aspect, I actually do like the plates for that reason. Now, if you're worried about the cost of these things, um, honestly, at that point, that's going to be more up to you. But then again, at least right now, still trying to get a PS5 just seems like an accomplishment all in itself. So, I'll end it here, like always. Have a good one. Leave those comments down below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe for not subscribing like always. Have a good one. And yes, I am fortunate enough to have all of the current consoles. So if I zoom out some, you can kind of see the uh, Switch OLED, obviously the Series X and PlayStation 5. Uh, that's my laptop there. Anyway, have a good one.